Okay, now let's introduce the classification of address. Actually, there are different kind of classification for IPv4 address. IP addresses can be classified into several different uh, types. So we have this class one IP address, which uh, with the first bit to be zero and all the other bit to be uh, any bit. So this is the type one uh, class A IP address. This type A IP address, the subnet part uh, or the network part are eight bit and the last 24 bit can all be used by the host. And we have class B, class B with the first two bits to be one and zero. And for class B uh, subnet, they have 16 bit uh, subnet part or the network part. And they can allow a smaller number of hosts in one network. Uh, the smallest network is the class C network, which only have eight bit for the host part. And they will have the first three bit to be one, one, zero. So actually we can calculate the range of the network IP address for any of these three classes. For example, if class A, then the range from all zero to be zero and all one, right? Similarly, you can calculate the IP address for the other two classes. And class D IP address are used for the multicast address. All these three are used for the single uh, IP address, or we can say that they are assigned to the hosts. Class D IP addresses, which begins with uh, 1110, are used for multicast addresses. And Class E addresses, which begins with 1111, uh, are used for research function. And uh, so we can calculate that for class one, uh, class A, actually the subnet masks are only eight bit and the uh, dotted format of subnet mask A, class A is 255.000. Similarly for B, that is slash 16 and for C, that is slash 24, right? So you need to um, very clear what is the subnet mask and what's their IP address range. And actually in the uh, network address, uh, we have two special address which cannot be allocated to host. So for example, if we look at this um, network, that is uh, 192.168.10.0. So this is a network. And for this network, this part is the network address and this part is the host address. But within the host address, there are two special address. If we set all the host bit to be zero, then that is a name for the network address. It cannot be allocated to any host. Similarly, if the host bit are all one, it, it can also uh, allo cannot allocate it to any host. That is a broadcast address which means that if we send packet to this destination, then the packet will be broadcasted to all the hosts in this network. Okay, And only the address range from one to uh, 111110 can be allocated to the host. So the available address actually are only like this, 10.1 uh, slash 24. Okay, so in total, there are only uh, 254, which is 228 minus two number of um, address allocated in this network. So let's give a, a quiz to test whether you have understand the IP address calculation clearly. So this is an example, okay? If I give you this IP address and um, I give you that this IP address is a class B IP address. So it will have 16-bit uh, network part and 16-bit host part. 
then can you calculate what is the network address for this network? Yeah, that's very easy, right? So to calculate the network address, you can simply let this part to be all zero, right? And then the whole IP address that is like this, then slash 16, this is the network address, okay? Then another question, can you calculate the broadcast address? Yeah, that's also very easy, right? So you just simply let all these 16 bits to be one, then you can calculate the broadcasting address, okay? Now, finally, um, what is the number of available addresses in this class B address network? Can you calculate? You can just use the number of bits in host part, that is 16, and 2 to 16, that is the total number of IP address. But there are two IP address which cannot be used for host. So this is the number of available addresses which can be allocated to, a, to, to host. Okay. So the range of the available address actually is from 1 until 2, 255, 254. Okay. That's the answer for this quiz. Yeah, you can think of that can be divided into private IP address and public IP address. If a user wants to be connected to the internet, it must be allocated with a public IP address. And this public IP address is unique on the internet. And it is allocated by the IANA, which is Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. So this authority allocate the address and they can guarantee that your IP address is unique. However, if your computer doesn't need to be connected to the internet, for example, you only need to be connected within a lab or within the college, then you don't need to get a public IP address. You only need to get the private IP address, that's okay. So, um, Actually, in the IP address space, some uh, special IP address has been reserved for the private IP address usage. So, for example, if it's in class A, then this range of IP address are allocated as the private IP address. And similarly, for class B and class C, we have certain range of IPs for private IP address. And um, typically, uh, now we all need to connect it to the uh, to the public internet. But why do we still need this kind of private IP address? That's because now the IPv4 has has been exhausted. There is not uh, IP address enough for a lot of devices. So in that case, actually, we can use this private IP address as a uh, solution for the uh, shortage of IP address. For example, if you want to connect it to be uh, to the internet, but you cannot be allocated by a public IP address, then you can put all the uh, subnet, all the PCs in your university to share one public IP address. And then how to uh, differentiate with the IPs the hosts in your university, then you can use this uh, private IP address. So this uh, technique, which is network address translation, can enable multiple devices to share one public IP address using the private IP address and network translation technique. So this is also a solution for the shortage of IPv4 address. There are also some special IP address you need to pay attention to. So first, if you want to do the broadcasting within a certain subnet range, then you can simply let all the bit to be one. So this IP address actually means the broadcasting IP address. They allow the packet to be broadcasted to all the hosts on the network segment the address belongs to. So they will be restricted by a gateway. They cannot go through a gateway, but within a gateway, um, they can be broadcasted. Another IP address is this all zero IP address. This IP address uh, 
can be used on either network or the host. If the IP address is used for a network, then it means that uh, this network can have an address of any network. And if this address is used for a host interface, then it means it is uh, it can be the host, uh, the source IP address of this network. So for example, uh, if uh, in DHCP protocol, when a new host coming into the network, it want to ask for an IP address, then it will send a DHCP request. And in the DHCP request, the um, destination IP address will be set to be the the broadcast IP address and the source IP address will be set to be all zero address because here it is an uh, IP address, a source IP address of this network. And when receiving this DHCP request, the DHCP server will allocate a possible IP address for this host. Right. And also we have a special loopback address, which is like this. Using this IP address, you can enable the host to test the software system of your device. And we also have this special address. This is the link local address. It means that if a host fails to get an IP address, it can temporarily use this IP address for communication until he got a permanent IP address. Okay, so that's special IP addresses. Okay, besides IPv4 IP uh, address, we will also introduce a little bit about IPv6. As we have mentioned before, the IPv4 has suffered from the exhaustion. Actually, the last public IPv4 address has already been allocated in 2011. But after that, still more and more users and devices want to access the public network. Then how to solve this problem? Actually, now the internet is under the evolution from IPv4 to IPv6 to solve this IP address shortage problem. Actually, in IPv6, we have much longer address length. We have 128 bits, so they can provide 